that's the GPIO from the revision number two. The boards we are using here, Raspberry Pi model B, revision two. And we have some changes from revision one from to revision two in the GPIO. So take care when you are using uh, uh, any, any other Raspberry Pi. Double check if you have the uh, uh, revision one or two, like uh, this five volts pin doesn't exist in the, in the revision one. And uh, we have different types of ports here. We have digital pins, we have the support for R2C, UARTs, and so we have 17 pins. Seven is for general proposal. You have one PWN. This is kind of new for me <laughs> uh, to know that uh, Raspberry Pi had a, a PWM. I never used it before because since I, I am always integrate with Arduino, I prefer to, to delegate the PWM to Arduino instead of doing in Raspberry Pi. And you have uh, two pins for I2C, five for SPI, and two for UART. So take care. The, 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 the level is 3 volts, the CMOS standard, and not 5 volts. You feed the, 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 you supply 5 volts to Raspberry Pi, but it's regulated internal to 3 volts. So take care when you are integrating like a Arduino with Raspberry. If you send a signal from Arduino to Raspberry, you are going to burn the Raspberry, the, the pin. So you need to use some level converter like MAX232 to, uh, uh, or use some device that is also 3 volts, like uh, Arduino Mini, the, the, the small one, or LilyPad, they are all 3 volts. You have many HMEGAs, 3 volts also. Eh? You have three ways of connecting complex sensors. Some, some kind of component, like a relay, is a simple it's digital. You just push one to the port and the relay will turn on. Or the opposite, depending on the relay board. So a relay board is very simple and you push zero and the relay turns off. But sometimes you have a, a gyro or accelerometer, it's not about zero and one. So you need a kind of protocol to transmit the information from the sensor uh, to the Raspberry and we have Three options, uh, I2C, SPI, and UART. UART is the serial, the old, uh, old but gold serial communication. I2C is very old protocol from the 80s, and uh, I think that Philips created the I2C, and is a bus. The, 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 the good stuff about I2C is that you just use two pins and you can plug many sensors, I2C sensors, in the same two pins, and the bus will take care about it. And, but it's not so fast. And you have SPI, SPI uh, uses five pins, and you can have the same idea of having a bus of components, but with better uh, speed. Most of the time when you are using Ethernet, the Ethernet module connects to the hardware through the SPI. So you have this graphic, it's very nice graphic explaining each kind of port. So and uh, uh, what it does and uh, some, some technical uh, stuff about the ports. So you can download the high quality image uh, and I have this kind of image printed in my office, so I need all the time. And I, I, I didn't, uh, uh, could uh, memorize all the pins, not yet, <laughs> from Raspberry. Let's see a single, a, a very simple connection. Here we have a relay board with two channels. So we have two relays, we could, uh, co we could control two different things. And we have four wires. One wire is five volts. The other wire is the ground have the, the GPIO you want to use with Java, but sometimes you need to make a kind of test before programming Java, and you don't want to make a, 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 man, a man class 
with Pi4J just to turn on or turn off the relay. So we installed in the, this special image this utility wide in Pi. Wide in Pi, you can, you can manipulate the GPIO using a uh, command line. So this command line, sudo GPIO minus G mode, 24 is the number of the port and output. So I set up this port to make output so I can write to this port. I can change the value of this port. And to turn on the digital 24, sudo GPIO minus G, write 24, 1. So it's very simple and, and, and basic to do. Let me show you. Now I set up the 25 to output and I have a fan uh, in this uh, port. So the fan is already working because the port state is in one by default, in zero by default. So now let's change the port to one. So this relay board is the opposite. The one turns off the relay and zero turns on the relay because it has a, a, a circuit just make this inversion. So you need to invert in the software if you want the behavior of one. So very simple and very fast to start. And Raspberry Pi and Chrome Tab, you can feed your plants because you can plug a water pump in, in, in the relay and you can schedule to, to, to feed uh, water to your plants automatically. So it's the first usage, good usage. Sample shell script that you can read the value of some port and you can command this, in this case, if it's turned it on, we'll turn it off and vice versa. So it's very simple and basic example for you running in, inside this image that is web io pi uh, you can command your uh, gpio using a web interface it's very good to do. so here i have the gpio header and uh, 25 here so uh, here i can turn on and turn off so the relay is working here so it's very simple and very good utility if you want a fast way to command using a web interface and lightweight. So 